Okay, welcome back. In this class, we're going to take a look at components. So what exactly is a component? A component is a reusable design element that you can create then use across multiple places in your design. Now, you know, in, a pre in the previous class, we defined our styles, our typography style and color style. And one of the advantages we discovered was that when you use those styles, if you should, you know, change the original one, right? Every instance of where you have those styles will also change. Now, that is for typography and color. What if you want to repeat the same thing for like, let's say a button or any other elements? Let's give a quick example here using a button. So to create button, I'll just click on this text, right? And I'm typing button. But like we said, all what we need to do now is to put this in an auto frame. So I'm going to do shift A, right? Shift A to put it in a frame. And once I do this shift A, all I need to do now is to come and let, let me give it a pattern of 32 here. And let's give it a pattern of 16 right here. And let me give it a color. Okay. This is just a quick design. Come here and select our primary. And let's give it some curve 4. Okay. Now. Let's assume in this this particular button, I would like to reuse it in you know in different pages on my project. Now, if I should just go ahead and duplicate this button and use it in different part of my project, what is going to happen is if there is any need for changes, maybe I want to change the font or I want to change the color or I want to change the you know or I want to add an icon to it. What is going to happen is that I'm going to have to repeat this in all those instances where I have this button. Okay. Now, what I can do is to convert this button to what is called a component. Right. Now, this component will now allow me to reuse these items over and over again while having one single source of truth for this component. Okay. So how do you convert an element to a component? You select the element and then you come up here, right here where it says create component. Then you click on the create component button. Now automatically what you're going to see, let me call this button instead of frame four. Okay. So the bounding box changes to this purple color. And once you see this purple color, you know that this is a component. Now, now, once you have a component, okay, it will automatically go to the assets panel. So if you come to assets right now, you are going to see that button right there. Let me click on the page explore, right? We are currently on explore. Now you can see we have this button, right? Now what you want to avoid is using the original one to design. Okay. Don't use this. This is the parent one. Now you can now go ahead and drag this out. Okay. And start using this. Okay. Let me even duplicate it. So we have like three of it. Now with this, see what happens when I go and make some changes on the original one. So if I come back to the original one and I change the color here to let's say success. You can see everything changes. So this is basically how to use components. So they help you create some form of reusable assets that you can use throughout your designs. Now, let's assume in this particular button, we wanted to have different colors. Okay. We want to have the same button, but with different colors and we want to control it systematically. That is where we begin to add what is called variants. So with variant, we can actually control different types of these components. Okay. So for instance, I can say, okay, let's have a blue colored one. Okay. Let me go back here. And what I can do is to come here and click on add variant. Now, once I click on it, it's going to duplicate this. And now when you take a look at the property, the same property, you can actually click here. Instead of property one, you just choose color for instance. And instead of variant two, we can now go ahead and say blue. Okay. So blue, let's now go ahead and make the changes by coming down here and selecting blue right there. 
okay so let's come back here and you can see this one is giving us default we can change it to green now you can add as much variant as you want if i click on this plus sign i can add another one and i can call this red so basically this is how variant works and i can come in here change the color to red now what you're going to see is right here they are not changing but what has happened is this if i select this now you can see right here now i have a property called color and under this color i can go ahead and select red a uh, blue or red now this is the power of component they give you this easy way to create reusable elements that you can actually supercharge by adding different properties and different variants and that is how component work in the next class we are going to be creating our button component see you there